Finding a budget-friendly and a good value for money laptop is something that is important if you are a student or is a professional or a business that is looking for a laptop that is entry level but is efficient with simple administrative tasks or is student-friendly then you may want to consider this Lenovo AMD Ryzen 5 3500U quad-core. I've been testing this laptop for a full week and we actually gifted my little sister the same one for school so this is a laptop that I'm familiar with. There are certain criteria that we will talk about this laptop so you can decide if this will work out for you. As always, to make things efficient for you, timestamps are available. This is the Lenovo AMD Ryzen 5 3500U quad-core Radeon Vega 8 graphics, 256GB of SSD storage and 8GB of RAM. I have a link in the description box if you're interested. This weighs 1.85kg and has a display of 15.6 full HD IPS screen. The Ryzen 5 is made out of polycarbonate plastic and the dimensions are as follows. For the ports you will get a 3.5mm audio combo jack meaning it can be transformed into two separate ports. One 3.5 millimeter mic port and one 3.5 millimeter jack, one 2.0 USB type A and two 3.2 gen 1 USB type A, an HDMI port, a card reader and of course a charging port. The Ryzen 5 has Bluetooth and Wi-Fi and this rounds on Windows 10 home. So as you can see this Lenovo laptop is very generous with ports which is really handy for working professionals or for students. Since we're still working and learning from home we're going to test the camera speakers and the microphone of this Lenovo AMD Ryzen 5. The camera is okay, I think it's fine for meetings and bear in mind that a laptop twice the price usually still only comes with a 720p camera. If the camera is of great importance to you, you could consider buying a higher resolution USB camera. As a general tip, using a light or positioning yourself next to a window during the day will help with lighting and therefore make your image look better. Here are some of the photos that I took using the built-in camera. Let us now move on to the built-in microphone. I am currently using the built-in microphone of the Lenovo AMD Ryzen 5. My distance is similar to when I was testing the camera earlier. What do you think of the sound quality of this laptop? Would this work for your needs? And moving on to the speakers, I'm going to play a music and a short video so you can hear what it's like. Can I be a star tonight? You fill my soul with light the day we is going to be one of the most exciting gaming monitor coming in 2022. You can of course justify this and say this will also help towards your productivity because that's what big monitors are for, right? This my friend is the new Samsung Odyssey Art. The 15.6 full HD screen is not bad for its price point. Of course, this is not comparable to the displays of the MacBooks, which I normally review in this channel. Bear in mind that the base model of the 13 inch M1 MacBook Pro or MacBook Air is over twice the price of this laptop. So this is definitely budget friendly, but still efficient. I have been enjoying consuming on this laptop. I would say the 1080p HD display is definitely decent. And so is the built in speakers, which I've been using to watch. The 15.6 inches screen size is generous, the colors look nice and vibrant, and the images is also sharp for its price. This would work well for any videos that you would need to consume for school or work, or when you would like to consume when you are taking a break, just like what I do for example. One of the most important considerations that we're looking for in a budget laptop is the boot time and its performance with Microsoft Office. As mentioned, this is a nice budget laptop for students or professionals, so I'm not going to do video editing benchmarks, which I normally do is this laptop is definitely not intended for that. The following that you're seeing are all real-time tests with this laptop.
One of the things that I really like about this laptop is definitely the keyboard. For context, I've been using mostly MacBooks for over five years now. So of course I've been spoiled with a good quality Magic Keyboard. And to be honest, I'm definitely pleasantly surprised when I first started using the keyboard of this Lenovo AMD Ryzen 5. It feels nice and comfortable to type in. The keys have just the right amount of bounciness. I personally like the layout of the keyboard with a number pad. This is what most of our customers who are businesses prefers. In all of the hospitals where I've worked, this is the layout of the keyboards. It has a number pad. I think this layout would also work for students because for sure you will have maths regardless of your year or major. Moving on to the trackpad, I did not have any high hopes for this because I have used and reviewed a Dell XPS 13 laptop which is on the higher end and the trackpad wasn't good. I feel like the trackpad of this Lenovo AMD Ryzen 5 is even slightly softer. It's not as nice as the MacBooks as Apple have put so much work and money on their trackpads. That's why it is the best in the market and the price obviously reflects the quality. But yeah, the trackpad is definitely decent and comfortable to use considering its price in my opinion. As I've mentioned, I have spent a good amount of time testing this laptop. I do get the importance of finding budget-friendly and efficient laptops and this is definitely one of them. The performance, the display, the speakers and the keyboard are all decent. Let me know if you have any questions about this and if you're looking for a bit more higher spec laptop, then check out this video. Video.